Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got Hornady Outfitter. This is their 120 grain CX load in 6.5 Creedmoor. And here's the box for that Hornady Outfitter 6.5 Creedmoor ammo with the 120 grain CX bullet. Let's take a look at the back. Here is your, if I can get my camera to focus, here is your promo information for this Hornady Outfitter ammo and the CX bullet respectively. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Right here is your ballistics info. They're claiming muzzle velocity of 2,925 feet per second. I think that is probably wishful thinking. We'll see how close we get to that. In the real world out here, let's take a look at this ammo. Nickel plated cases, really nice looking stuff. Here is your load, really clean. It's got a ballistic tip on there to get that expansion started. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my Ruger American, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, of course. It's got a 22 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40. Yes, this is the same Ruger American I've used for all my 6.5 Creedmoor tests. I just did a little bit of a Krylon camo paint job on the stock. And coming on back, of course, I've got one of my Mason Leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I want to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocity for that Hornady Outfitter 120 grain CX load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high, 2807, our low, 2732, and our average was 2768. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Outfitter 120 grain CX bullet out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. We did manage to capture all three bullets and they penetrated nice and deep. Let's go ahead and look at penetration. They're a little tougher to see through the top of the block. We got one at 30 inches, one that's kissing 31. I'll give it 31. And then one right there is the front of the mushroom. We'll give that 32 and a half. So that is a deep, deep penetrating 6.5 Creedmoor load. If you need something that's gonna go through some stuff, there you go. Let's go on over to the front of the block. Look at the wound cavities. Per standard with solid copper monolithic bullets, the wound cavities are not ultra explosive, but they are very consistent. It opens up at about the one and a half inch mark, really about the two inch mark. Comes on back, nice wound cavity, and then starts to taper off. Eh, kind of about right there at the 11 inch mark, maybe a little lighter. So if you need a 6.5 Creedmoor load that's gonna penetrate, this might be the ticket. Let's dig them out and take a look. And here are those 120 grain CX bullets as recovered from the ballistics gel. These performed really well. Let's talk about it. Weight retention wise, we saw 117. 120 and 120 grains retained weight for an average of about 119 grains. That's 99% weight retention. And with the two that were 120, that's 100% weight retention. So excellent performance on that retained weight. I'd really expect nothing too much less than that from a solid copper bullet. Expansion wise, we saw 0.5 inches, 0.55 inches, and 0.57 inches for an average of 0.54 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2X expansion which is right on par with what I'm seeing with other solid copper bullets across calibers. Velocity wise, our high was 2807. Our low was 2732 for an average of 2768 versus the factory build velocity of 2925. So we did come in 157 feet per second slow versus factory build velocity. And then penetration wise, very deep penetration, 30 inches, 31 inches, and 32 and a half inches for an average of about 31 inches of penetration, very consistent deep penetration. I think this would be an excellent choice if you're hunting something that requires that deep penetration with a 6.5 Creedmoor. And then kinetic energy wise, with a 120 grain bullet going on average 2,768 feet per second, 
we're looking at 2,041 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Outfitter 120 grain CX load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. All in all, this stuff did pretty good. 99% weight retention, wouldn't expect anything less out of a CX bullet. Solid copper monolithic. 2X expansion, which is par for the course for solid copper bullets. I've seen that 2X, 2.1X mark a lot with solid copper bullets. This did that, I'm happy with it. Also, the expansion was nice and consistent, very uniform. The whole circumference of the bullet expanded well. It wasn't just a, you know, a jagged shard off here or there that was creating that expansion number. It was very consistent and uniform. Very happy with that. Velocity wise, came in a bit slow, 157 feet per second slow on average. whoop de doo sort of par for the course. I've seen worse, I've also seen better. My rifle's got a 22 inch barrel. If your 6.5 Creedmoor has a 24 inch barrel, maybe you've got a custom job or you know some you know a long range rig with a 26 inch barrel or something like that. I'm sure you'd get closer to that box spec. And then penetration wise, that's where this stuff really shines. All three bullets hit at least the 30 inch mark. We averaged 31 inches of penetration. That is deeper than most medium game hunting loads I've tested go. If you're hunting something that requires deep penetration and you're using a 6.5 Creedmoor, I would absolutely look to this stuff. If your rifle shoots it accurately, if mine shot it accurately, I would definitely use it on bigger medium game if I'm using a 6.5 Creedmoor. Not to say that I would pick a 6.5 Creedmoor to use on bigger medium game, but if you were, there you go. So all in all, I'm actually really happy with this stuff. I've been pretty happy with the Hornady Outfitter line. It tends to perform pretty well, but always remember if you're shooting solid copper bullets or other monolithic materials, make sure and shoot a couple boxes through your rifle because the accuracy can be kind of wild. Certain guns like them, certain guns don't. Just run some rounds through your rifle and make sure your gun is nice and accurate with this stuff. But if it is, I think it's a great choice. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.